In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And also with you. Today we have many reasons to get together and truly pray. First, it is the anniversary of the dedication of this church. I learned lately that September 12 is also the Feast of Our Lady of Montserrat, the famous Benedictine Abbey in Catalan, Catalonia. And uh, we have the Benedictine Abbey also here in Manila, in Mendiola. It is also the Feast of the Holy Name of Mary. And for us in Lipa, this is very significant. We are gathered together especially to pray for peace, for it is what the Blessed Mother brings to us, as we have always believed. He, she brings peace, and peace is not just an idea. Peace is God himself, who is the source of unity for us all. And unless we go back to God, repent as uh, Our Lady of Fatima, Our Lady also in Lourdes, us, and here, and almost everywhere, she calls us to repentance, to prayer, praying the rosary in particular, because the rosary is the Bible as lived by Mary, and which must be lived by all of us. It is the life of the Word of God in our life. She calls us to true peace, which is found only in Christ, who is the Prince of Peace. So we pray for peace in our country and everywhere. We also pray for sanctification of the ministers of God's word and sacrament. Because when we bring, we faithfully bring God to everyone, we bring everyone to the unity of love, which is really the source of true peace. The peace which is God's gift. The peace which the world cannot give. Brothers and sisters, let us therefore unite all our prayers for our country, for our church, for ourselves, for our loved ones, for the world. And uh, seek always with Mary what is pleasing to the Lord. Let us be sorry for all our sins. Let us beg God to pardon us because we have been unfaithful in many ways. We have fail to be to behave like God's children and Mary's sons and daughters. We have failed to follow her as she dedicates herself completely to God and to the service of our fellow men. Let us beg pardon from the Lord so that we will be less unworthy of this holy sacrifice. Lord Jesus, for the many times we have not recognized your presence in our midst, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, because we have not obeyed God's will, instead followed our own self-centered ways, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, because we have been instruments of the evil one rather than instruments of your holiness and goodness, especially the people you have entrusted to us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest.
Let us pray. Father, each year we recall the dedication of this church to your service. Let our worship always be sincere and help us to find your saving love in this church. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please all be seated. 